Hey y'all, it's Bear, and today I'm here to tell you my September TBR. I accidentally just looked it up the table. So, my August TBR was kind of a flop. I did not get to a lot of the books I wanted to get to, so some of those will kind of be bleeding over into September, maybe into October. So I decided to keep September very light. I have five books that I want to read as, like, necessity books that I, like, kind of need to read, and then, like, five books that I'm just kind of, like, they're hopefuls. I like the idea of doing, like, hopeful TBR. So first off, I do have the Last Great American Readathon that starts September 1st. This video is going up September 2nd, so it's already started as of this video going live. But I have three books that I want to try and read for the Last Great American Readathon, and they are as follows. So first, I'm going to be reading Horrid by Katrina Leno. This is the group book, and it fits the challenge of reading the group book, reading a book with gray on the cover, and reading a book featuring ghosts. Then we have Adam Webb's poetry collection, A Futile Attempt at Delaying the Inevitable. This is a poetry collection that was sent to me by Poet's Choice. I feel like out of all the poetry collections that I currently own, the title of this aligns the most with folklore and the challenge that this fits is to like read poetry. <laughs> then we have a, a, two challenges that I was kind of struggling with and that is reading a classic or a retelling and then reading a book with a love triangle in it. I don't tend to do either one of those things very much so I decided that I'm going to reread A Midsummer Night's Dream from this collection of William Shakespeare but I feel like there are love triangles within the complex love parallelogram of these characters in A Midsummer Night's Dream and like I said, this one does fit the prompt for like reading a classic slash retelling. And those are the three books I'm going to try and read the first week of September. Then we have my Patreon book club pick, which is A Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. I've never actually heard anyone read the full description of this book and give like a super detailed synopsis. But from what it sounds like, it's... I feel like it's murdering the gay dads. I don't know why. That's just how I feel. I'm a patrons voter on this for September, and if you... Subscribe to my Patreon at the $5 a month or more tier. You will get access to an exclusive video where I discuss this book in great detail, like a reading vlog or a review or a, something like that. So I will still be discussing it on the channel, but patrons do get access to an exclusive book club related video. So if you're interested in hearing like super in-depth detailed thoughts on it, uh, you can check out my Patreon downstairs. I'll always link it down below. Then we have my one book that's not for a readathon or a video or anything. This is just a fun book. I've been trying to grant myself the grace of having like one fun book a month. And that book this month is going to be Ace of Spades. This has been getting a whole lot of hype on the internet right now. Everyone is talking about how good this book is. And um, from what I've gathered, it sounds like a dark academia kind of thrillery black male story. So it follows these two kids who go to a prep school and they start getting texts from this person threatening to blackmail them. And that's really all I know going into it. It is a young adult thriller, so I want to keep my knowledge of the actual plot kind of low. And I've been hearing this pitched lately as like Get Out meets Pretty Little Liars. I don't know. That's just what people are saying. So this is going to be my one fun book for the month. I'm very excited to get to read it. Now on to potential other books. These are maybes. These aren't for readathons. These aren't for anything like that. These are just like five if I can get to them books that I will be reading. And first we have one that's kind of like a TBR veteran. I've owned this book since 2018 and I've DNF'd it three times and I just, I feel like this is going to be the time. Meddling Kids, nothing against this book personally. I have just never been able to finish this story start to end. Meddling Kids is clearly kind of a riff on Scooby-Doo and I've heard nothing but great things about it. But there's just something about it that I, I've never been able to get through it. So I feel like this is the year... I'm calling it now. If I don't finish this one by the end of the year, I need to unhaul it. Next, I have another one that I'm very excited to read that I've been talking about all year, and that is The Ones We're Meant to Find. Once again, can we look at this cover and appreciate this cover because it's beautiful. This is a YA dystopian, I believe like cli-fi novel. Uh, about these two sisters who are trying to find their way back to each other, and that's once again all I know about it. Uh, once again, with speculative books, I like to kind of keep my knowledge of them low. Sorry if my lighting keeps being flashy, I'm filming this at night. Next we have a fantasy, which is completely out of left field for me. I don't know why I'm feeling ambitious this fall, but I am. That's Girl Serpent Thorn. This one is, um, I believe based on Persian mythology. I know it's like a bisexual monster girlfriend, love triangle vibes. I believe that like the peak of the love triangle is poisonous to the touch. She's a princess that's poisonous to the touch. 
And um, it's giving me like rogue vibes from X-Men, but like in a fantasy. We have Library of the Unwritten. This I know has pansexual librarians in hell. The end, like that. that's it. This book follows Claire, who is like the head librarian of the like forgotten section of Hell's library. I don't actually know what that entails, if it's like books that were never written or books by authors who were in Hell or what, but I know it's like a library in Hell. Things are afoot. I'm into it. Just saw the words The Devil's Bible on the back and I'm like very excited for this now. Another fantasy. Who the fuck am I this month? What the fuck is going on with me? Finally we have Friday Black which is a short story collection. I've been wanting to read more short story collections this year. Um, this one I know it, it covers a bunch of different topics but I believe they all boil back down to the central theme of racism. I find short story collections to be very useful in breaking up reading for the month. Like, I can read a couple of short stories here and there, and then read a whole book, and then come back and read a couple of short stories, and then read a whole book. So I want to start incorporating maybe, like, one short story collection into my reading every month just to break up things, because lately I've been finding myself getting very slumpy after I finish a book. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to read anything for a couple days. But if I read some short stories here and there, I think that that can kind of keep my momentum going. So these are the ten books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. I said that I was going to try and be not as ambitious and take it easy this month. Not gonna happen. My birthday's in like a week and um, I didn't want to like overload myself with like reading but I, I did it anyway. <laughs> if you have any pressing thoughts on these that you just need to share with me let me know downstairs in the description. If you loved them, if you hated them, if you think I'll like them, what things to look out for, things you want me to talk about with each book. And while you're down there you can subscribe and like and share as you see fit and hit the bell and all of that good shit as well as answering the comment question of the day. Comment question of the day. I want to know what book you're most excited to read about in September. If you don't have time, you don't have the spoons, you don't have an answer, you don't want an answer, let me know you made it all the way until the end of this video by leaving me an emoji, preferably a yellow heart or a smiley face emoticon. All of my social media links and places you can go support me further outside of content related things will be linked downstairs in the description so make sure you go check that out. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you next time with another video. Thank you for watching. Okay.